Hello, my beautiful people! I often get asked how I illustrate my style frames, specifically how I illustrate in a minimalist style. And honestly, there is a time-proven process I'd love to share with you. First, I define the main element I need to illustrate. That usually comes from the script, of course. Once I have found the main element, I add two or three supporting elements that would logically belong in the same scene. Or sometimes they can be completely illogical. The key is that you understand why you're combining them. For example, when illustrating a hot air balloon, I decided to add some flowers, clouds, and for some reason, a city street light. <laughs> Why? Because I was browsing references of hot air balloons over colorful fields, cozy towns and beautiful parks. That's how it all came together in my mind. So the elements are chosen. Great. Now we actually need to illustrate them. In the meantime, give this video a like if it is inspiring so far. And here's rule number one. Always find references. I never illustrate without a reference image. A good reference gives me two crucial things. The basic shapes I need and the correct proportions. I can't stress enough how important proportions are. They are the secret magic that makes a vector element look like a real object. For example, this arc was first designed over a photo using simple rectangles. The sketch evolved, I added and removed decorative details, but the proportions stayed the same. That's what makes a bunch of rectangles look like real architecture. When it comes to shapes, some are obvious, others less so, but I mostly work with rectangles, triangles and circles. The most basic of the basics. Pretty much everything in the world can be built from these three forms. During the process, I adjust anchor points, like with this TV tower, which is essentially just a sharp triangle. Usually I don't need more than three to five shapes to form an object. I might add small decorations to tie the composition together, but even if this balloon was made of only three shapes, you'd still recognize it, right? The same goes for the arc. Even one rectangle with openings instantly reads as architecture. Now the next rule. Repeat your design elements. If I use small circles in the flowers, I'll add them to the balloon too. If I use thin lines somewhere, I'll repeat them elsewhere. If I round the corners, I round them everywhere. This visual consistency is what makes everything feel unified. If it's a sequence of several scenes, I reuse elements to connect them. For example, this city light works perfectly in both scenes, tying them together. The animation itself is pretty simple, no plugins, just path animation, trim path and tweaking basic parameters. If you're curious, you can check out the source file on my Patreon. Thanks for watching and happy designing!